recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I rise in support of H.R. 1671, which would designate the U.S. Postal Facility located at 6937 Village Parkway in Dublin, California, as the James Jim Conan Post Office. And I thank the Chair and the Ranking Member for bringing this uh, to the floor today. On May 29, 2012, the City of Dublin, California, and the entire Tri-Valley community lost a lifetime public servant in Jim Conan. Naming this postal facility after Dr. Conan would be a fitting tribute to a distinguished community member and Dublin's modern-day Renaissance man. Dr. Conan retired from the U.S. Army Reserve as a colonel after 30 years of service in the Corps of Engineers. During his service, he graduated from the U.S. Army War College, the Air War College, and the Industrial College of the Armed Forces. Through his work in the community, Jim emphasized the importance of lifetime learning. His journey started with one of his earliest achievements, earning the rank of Eagle Scout. Jim never stopped learning, earning multiple degrees, including two bachelor's degrees, two master's degrees, and a doctorate in education. A constant advocate for education and its importance, Dr. Conan completed his career by serving as a high school teacher at San Leandro High School, where he taught political science, management, and general science. Jim Conan also never stopped serving. Using his education and experience, Dr. Conan served just about every local community organization possible by volunteering with a variety of local organizations, most often serving as their treasurer, including the Boy Scouts, the Dublin Historical Preservation Association, the League of Women Voters, the Knights of Columbus at St. Raymond's Church. Dr. Conan also served as an elected or appointed official on five boards, including the Alameda County Mosquito Abatement District, the Dublin San Ramon Services District, the Zone 7 Water Agency, the Alameda County Special Districts Association, and the American Association of Quality. Jim was always there to step up when we needed him to serve in any capacity. Jim never stopped learning, he never stopped serving, and naming Dublin's post office, our only post office after Jim, is a fitting tribute to his lifetime contributions and helps to inspire Tri-Valley community residents to follow in his footsteps by dedicating their lives to service to others. Passing this bill also now ensures that Jim's surviving wife, who he is married to for 47 years, Pat, and their children, Bill and Mark, will be able to see Jim honored. It's also the 50th anniversary this week of when Jim and Pat both met and graduated from Ripon College in Wisconsin. Today we honor Jim Conan, loving husband and father, faithful public servant, soldier, and Eagle Scout. And I urge my colleagues to join me in support of H.R. 1671. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman